皆さんようこそ日本語のストリームです僕はミクです頑張ります Ladies and gents, welcome It's a Japanese stream I'm Nick and I am gonna do my best on here Guys,、um, we are in the new world of Duolingo It is now a competitive sport、uh, They have this thing on here They just added last episode the、uh, leagues to Duolingo And、uh, you can now be ranked on a leaderboard. So we have a.、Uh, oh, whoops. Thank you, Decaf. Forgot to put on my mic. Mira san, yokso. Moichiro, on the guy shimas. みなさんようこそ。日本語のストリームです。僕はニクです。頑張ります。Ladies and gents, welcome to another Japanese stream. I'm Nick and I'm gonna do my best. Out there doing my best every day. Sometimes it includes Japanese learning, just like、uh, we've been doing for the last 76 days in a row. Now, Duolingo is now a competitive sport. It has a whole bunch of stuff added.、Uh, you can see here we have the leagues. So we've been.、Uh, Ranking our uh, uh, learning abilities against others, I guess. It's not really our ability to learn, it's just the XP that we get per day or per week or per something.、Um, so we're on a leaderboard on Duolingo, matched up against a bunch of other people. And if we can stay on that leaderboard on the top 20, then we are going to move up to the next、uh, thing. So I think we got a shot, guys. I think we got a shot. Anyway. If you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. This is a secret fourth daily stream that we've been doing for the last 76 days in a row, where I brush up on my Japanese through Duolingo, and you guys are able to join along, learn along, challenge along, ask questions along with me. A whole bunch of stuff on here. Now,、uh, if you want to see which games are being played on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all、uh, seven concurrent gameplay series going right now. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of eight. We're currently at five, so we're getting there, guys. The 22nd entry in the Twitch playbook just dropped today. It is called Don't Be Afraid to Be Yourself on Stream. And、um, I've talked in a lot of other entries about how important I think it is to use your own personal sort of like passions and unique traits on stream. In this one, I actually go through three specific use cases、uh, and case studies of things on this channel. Moments where、uh, it became clear that, sort of like really out there character traits of mine, being able to show up on stream have become major parts of the channel. Some of that, including the Voice of Nick Voices, Voice of Nick Wiki,、uh, all that stuff, like the creation of the Wiki. And, and actually, I, I do call out Decaf on there, or、uh, I, I call you a dedicated community member on, on the、uh, entry. So go give that one a look. We actually go through and, and talk about the creation of the、uh, Voice of Nick Wiki. Uh, because doing the voices and stuff is、uh, definitely something like, that I wouldn't have expected would be a thing I would、uh, you know, be able to do on this channel. But the more I sort of allowed myself to be myself on the channel, the more we sort of like grew into like a, a tighter knit community and a, and a more interesting channel. So give it a look, guys. If you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it is a free online resource that I created to.、Uh, Help you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. It is a podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. Every episode is 10 minutes or less. So it's very bite sized and it's been coming out for the last 22 weeks in a row. So it is very consistent as well. If you want to、uh, find it for yourself, you can type exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You'll get a link directly to it, or you can just search the Twitch playbook on whichever podcast platform you prefer.、Um, hey, Decap immediately begins downloading the latest episode. Nice. It's a good one too. It, it has a lot of、um, uh, hopefully inspirational stuff in there. Let me know what you think. Let's、uh, jump into the show, ladies and gents. Nihongo no stream desu. Moichiro onegaishimasu. By the way,、uh, that was the、uh, thing that we said when we came back to the show. That means one more time, please. One more time. So we, we, we did it again. We did the intro again. d i g a posts in Nihongo Gak. I think that's a manabu jikan. Nihongo no Nihongo manabu jikan. I don't know if that. I guess that would mean、uh, Japanese language learning time. Or 
yeah, Japanese learning time or something like that. Interesting. I never would have thought to put it in that in that way, but that's that's my my uh, translation of that one. I think that might be right. Yeah, time to learn Japanese. Nice. Maybe I would say. Jikan wa nihongo wo manabu. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at this real quick. So we're going to break this down. Thank you, Decap, for the challenge. That was a good one. Let's see. Time to learn Japanese. Now, what if I put it in the beginning here? Time is learning Japanese. Okay, so that's not right. Now, what if we said Nihongo wo manabu wa jikan? Time to learn Japanese. Oh, so what this is is basically omitted one of the uh, one of the particles that it needed, but the wa would would exist after Nihongo wa manabu because that's the subject of the sentence, I guess. Cool. Do you guys think I think it's actually time to learn some Japanese? Um, I think they might have they might have omitted the sum when they when they translated it. Uh, some would be like uh, chotto or skosh. Something like that, like you'd add like a little extra word. So if you wanted to say time to learn some Japanese, you'd probably do this. Hey, Milky V3, welcome to the show. I forgot most of the Japanese I learned when I lived there. Nice. Where did you uh, live in, in uh, Japan? Let's get an exclamation mark high for Milky joining the stream. And let's get a secret emote in here. Welcome to the show. We've been doing these uh, Duolingo streams for a while, and they are so much fun. Uh, hopefully, you will uh, be able to brush up on some of that with me. I, I definitely uh, don't know that much Japanese, but uh, I did originally learn it a couple years ago, and I'm um, still, still, uh, you know, I still remember a decent amount of it. So, uh, trying to brush up on it. Gigi Prague, welcome to the stream as well. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Gigi joining the show. If you want to add a wa to a verb, you should add a no after it. Hmm. Oh, to a verb. Oh, interesting. Let's give it a shot. Nihongo wo manabu wa no jikan. Wa no. So that's kind of like saying niwa. Is that what you mean? Like, uh, because it's like, uh, as for belonging to learning Japanese time. And you'd probably say des at the end. Yeah, it is time to learn Japanese. That makes sense. Um, decaf gifting a sub as well. Can we get some hype in that chat? For decaf gifting the sub, so nice of you. Um, let's get a bit of voice of Nick hype in here. Thank you, decaf, for that. It's extremely nice of you. This is going to be an extremely short episode, by the way, guys. We are going to be, I have a hard out at 9 p.m., which is in 12 minutes. Let's uh, learn some Japanese, guys. So uh, as a member of the Coffee Posse GG Prog, you get a whole bunch of stuff on this channel, including the Voice of Nick emote, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad-free streams, whole bunch of stuff on this channel, and you have the handsome sub badge in front of your name. Thank you so much to Decaf for gifting that uh, sub. That's extremely nice of you. Let's get a award in there for Decaf Boss Man. That is amazing. We have an episode that's popping off right now. I wish we could stay for longer. Um, we have Gigi Prague saying, Nihongo wo uh, manabu, oops, let's jump into uh, this one again. Manabu no wa. Okay, no wa. That makes more sense because it's like ni wa. Omoshiroi desu. <laughs> it's interesting to learn Japanese, or learning Japanese is interesting. I like it. Thank you for the challenge. So that's the thing that we try to do on this channel is, um, if anybody uh, is earlier in their process than me, or just generally if they have any questions, uh, definitely always open to post in the chat. And then challenges in the chat as well of like posting a, a Japanese sentence, as long as it's relatively uh, simple uh, for me to try and translate on the stream, definitely always welcome those kinds of uh, things on the channel. So thank you for the challenge. So if we were gonna say, what if we said, skoshi no Nihongo. It's time to learn a little Japanese. Okay, so that's what you'd want to say. They put our little kanji in there, but still. It's time to learn a little Japanese. So, 少しの日本語を 
Manabu Noah, I think you were saying. Noah Chikandes. It's time to learn a little Japanese. But it looks like when you wrote it's time to learn a little Japanese in the uh, in the Google Translate, it must have just removed the concept of a little, and then they just wrote it's time to learn Japanese. So let's do a little bit of learning a little Japanese here. <laughs> let's uh, first start. We always start the episode with a couple of the simplest ones that we're trying to level up, which is hiragana, a ka ka me me di di the U.S. America ka 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 a me me a pa di di America America me me ka ka a a di ko di ka ka me me ka a me I try to never assume that I'm gonna know any aspect of it. When I first learned it, I uh, <clears throat> I would say like, oh, okay, I got this down. I know hiragana, I know katakana. And then when I was in, oh look, we're on 16th place, good stuff. Uh, when I was in Tokyo, I would notice that sometimes I would like not recognize like a basic katakana or something. And I was like, what the hell? So it's safe to say that like, when we're within the first year of learning, I should never assume that I know even the most basic stuff. Transit, okay, is it fast? Okay, so this is some of the stuff that I don't necessarily remember as much. I think it would be, Hayai desu ka? Yep. Toi desu ka? Toi desu ka? Toi is far away, I think. Is it far? Toi desu ka? Now we don't know this kanji. I'm assuming that means far. I've never seen this kanji before. Toi desu ka? Kore wa chizu desu. Kore wa chizu desu. It's a map. This is a map. Is it slow? Oh, uh, what's the one for slow? Slow is... I don't know. So they're not gonna let us get it wrong. Oh, yes they will. We could just type anything. So it's this, which is... I wish they would show us the hiragana for it. Milky saying I only learned how to read hiragana. Katakana is super useful because um, katakana, you basically already know all the words. You know, like as long as you can read the alphabet, all the words, almost all katakana words, at least on signs in Tokyo, are, are English words. Um, so that's really useful. And uh, you said you, learned, you lived in Yokohama. I never, uh, I never read that out loud, I don't think, but I think I saw that you said that. Yes, 45 minutes south of Yokohama. That's cool. So was it like uh, very populated or was it uh, smaller? What kind of area was it? That's cool. Oh, Gigi Proud is saying, Osoi. I do remember that one now. Thank you, Gigi Proud. I don't know that I remember any of these things. Dore kurai, which kurai, don't know. Kakarimasu Got it wrong. Which something? I think it's like how long will it take? But and that's like a phrase. But I'm gonna get it wrong because I didn't remember it off the top of my head. Dore kurai kakaremasu ka? Ka. Yeah, that whole thing will take time, Mate. and then this is like how long. Ku? But this is so dore would be. De. Wouldn't this be Do. which? Yeah, which, and then da. kurai is around. So you kind of have to just know the phrase. I remember this being a thing but I don't remember it off the top of my head, which is in, a, in our playthrough, we always, uh, we always do, uh, if I didn't know it all off the top of my head, it doesn't matter if I can see it in the answer or if I can piece the answer together based on context clues, I always intentionally get it wrong so that it brings it back up later. Kakarimasu ka is, will take time, okay. Or kakarimasu. Gigi Proud saying, I hope that's not back seating. Yeah, this is the only one that um, we don't... So we're really strict about backseating in any other thing. But um, basically the thing you'll notice is that I never... Not only do I never look at the chat while I'm trying to answer a question, but I also never even look at the screen. You'll notice that I just close my eyes because I'm trying to only recognize it for conversational use. Um, so I basically you can post anything 
uh, about the answers in the chat because I'll read it after the uh, question. Millie's saying Dore is which? Yeah, so we, we would want to say, it's basically how long will it take? Is it far? Toi desu ka? So it's this one then, we just learned that kanji. Toi desu ka? Hayai desu ka? Hayai desu ka? Is it fast or is it early? I believe you could also say. Is it fast? So hayai, yeah. early, yep, quick, early, fast, which makes sense. Is there a map? Uh, chizu wa arimasu ka? Chizu wa arimasu ka? Nihon no chizu wa arimasu ka? Nihon no chizu wa arimasu ka? Is there a map of Japan? How long will it take? Okay, so we just learned that one, but I don't know that I'm even going to remember it. Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? Dore kurai kurai kakarimasu ka? Kakarimasu ka? Decaf saying you're definitely going to listen to that episode after stream. Decaf, I hope you enjoy it. It's a good one. And yeah, I definitely call... I try to never, like... This is probably the episode that's most, like... Uh, most autobiographical but I try to never like sort of advertise our own stream on it because I feel like it's more like to help people learn than to like tell people about our channel so in the article I do link to the wiki but I never like specifically call out any of the stuff so you'll hear that I like make reference to you in the article without like specifically saying your name and to anybody who's wondering uh, this is what we're talking about the twitch playbook the new episode just dropped today ここは、うん、what did they say? えから近いです or えが I don't think they said えが So, here, something from 近いです Maybe short, or maybe that 近い might mean、uh, then short distance. What is え I don't know. Maybe it's it's not far from here. That's what I'm gonna say. Oh, they said ie. Okay, so they're saying it's not far from the house. Koko, we're gonna get that wrong. Koko wa ie kara chikai desu. This place is near my home. Okay, so I basically said that we're not far from my house. Same thing. So we sort of got it, but I wouldn't have heard ie. Gigi Pro is saying, I would use ga instead of wa with the verb aru, but not really able to explain why. Yeah, there's a really good.、Um, it's because it, I know what you mean by that, where it's like you can't really identify like, the reason why it just sounds right.、Um, and a lot of times the, the discussions on Duolingo are really good with that, where they can like,、um, sort of go into like, the exact reasons that like, we. Most people, like when we think about it, we're just like, oh yeah, of course it's that, but like you wouldn't really like identify exactly. So, like, ga with aru. Yeah, I guess just because it's,、um, it's talking about a specific thing, or like, is there a, a map? Like, not like, I guess if it's wa, that would more mean like, is there a map in existence or whatever? But otherwise, you'd mean like, is there one like around, you know? This bus is slow, you know. Okay, so, oh, it's, <laughs> they haven't had us do like ne things at the end that much. So it would be like, Kono basu wa osoi desu ne. Something like that. Kono basu wa osoi desu ne. Oh, desu yo. Oh, yeah, because like you know would be, you know, yeah. So wa would be female. Zo. Would be male. I've never heard of these. Why do they keep clicking off of it? You would still say desne, but I guess I get what they're saying is if you're saying like forcefully, you would say you know. Densha wa osoi desu ne.、Um, that train is slow or late, isn't it? Yeah, you know what? You know, would be yo. yo. Would, would only be yo. Because if, if you're saying. Like, isn't it? That would be desne. Ano densha wa 
電車は遅いですね。遅い地図。That's 地図です,ですね。ね。Okay, that train is slow, isn't it? Trains are fast. That's a good one. 電車は、uh, 早いです。電車は早いです。早いです。g p r i v e saying, I've learned that when you use X, Wa, Aru, you're saying there is X, not something else. Oh. Okay, yeah, because you're saying like, that's like one of those instances where it's like as if you're saying, if you use like Watashi in the wrong instance or Boku or whatever, then you're saying, I'm doing this, or I, this thing is happening to me. But not for something else. Like, there's like implications associated with, with that, and it's probably the same thing with X, Y, Aru. Eki kara gakkou made jupun kurai kakarimas. Eki kara gakkou made jupun kurai kakarimas. So it takes 10 minutes to get from the station to my school. Eki kara. Eki. から学校まで,校まで10分10分あくらいかかります,かかります I'm starting to remember this stuff now、um, oh, It takes about 10 minutes、oh, Good thing we looked at that Which one is about? Is that kudai? Oh yeah, because maybe Let's look at this Kurai is about. Okay. Good to know. Didn't know that. So I guess the question of Dore Kurai Kakarimas is about how long will it take, not how long will it take. The train station is near here. Oh. Eki wa koko. ここから近,近いです。I don't know if that's right. 駅はここから近いです。Okay, did you mean to say yes, it was right? Because it was. Okay, sometimes I feel like there's a lot of potential answers or ways you could say something, and I'm not sure if I'm saying it in the way that they're going to give me. You know what? Because you can type it. So some, maybe we should try and type it more often than like choose it from a list. I learned, oh,、uh, it becomes, wa becomes emphatic with aru. That makes sense. That's a good way to explain it. Nihon no chizu wa arimasu ka? Nihon no chizu wa arimasu ka? Is there a map of Japan? Nihon no chizu wa. Nihon no chizu wa. Chizu wa. Arimasu ka? Arimasu ka? Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? That's about how long will it take again? どれくらいかかりますかかかりますか近いですか近いですか、um, Is it near? Is it near? That's what I'm going to say. 近いですか近いですか Yeah. No, it is near a t a m a d a Is it slow? 遅いですか Okay, so is that it? I wonder if this would be a. This, if this is the correct kanji. Oh, it's not. Look, I think that might be hayai. If it was, though, that would be a correct sentence. It would just be very informal. If it said, osoi. Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? How long will it take? Or, see, look, this is not saying about how long will it take. But.、No. It does mean that. So I guess it, it's implied, like about how long, because of course somebody doesn't know exactly. Koko wa e kara chikai desu. Koko wa e kara. Oh no, no, this is the same mistake we're making again. Koko wa ie kara chikai desu. So we're close to my house. We're not far from my house. Koko wa. Ie kara. Chikai desu. Oops. Well, let's get it wrong. Koko wa ie kara chikai desu. I feel like they're saying ie in a weird way. Koko wa ie. Koko wa ie kara chikai desu. Koko wa. Koko wa ie kara 
から近いです。近いです。ジュージュパイズ A。Sometimes it's like the robot voice will, will have like a weird sort of like a thing. But I guess that's probably also useful to,、uh, to learn because a lot of times people will、uh, a lot of times people will like not speak clearly or You know, not everybody's gonna have the same speech pattern. So it's good to be able to, like, oh, if it sounds like A, maybe they're trying to say EA. I guess when I get better at context clues, that'll also help a lot. Okay, so we're gonna try a timed practice now、uh, because I have to <laughs> go five minutes ago. So let's see how fast we can do it. Send some hearts, ladies and gents. We're gonna give it a shot. I'm really bad at these. Keep. Eat. Eat. Su.、Uh, sensei. Nope, that's not it. I'm gonna say yes though, because I got it wrong. Sensei. Uh. Gakusei. Okay. Gakusei. Gakusei. Su. I. I. Keep. Keep. Su. Ki. Ki. Ba. Ba. I. Uh. Jitensha. I try to get, like, even though it's not required that I know how to say it, I try to be able to say it anyway. I will teach piano. Oh god, here we go. Uh, Saraishu wa. No, Saraishu kara, maybe?、Uh, piano o.、Mm, don't know the word for teach.、Um, Osiemas? I don't know. I don't think that's going to be right.、Uh, Renshu shimas? Maybe it is that. Okay, let's just give it a shot. Saraishu. Saraishu wa. Maybe you don't. Kara. kara. Piano. Uh, duh, duh, duh. It's guitar, piano. piano. O. O. Osie. Osie. Mas. Mas. Did I get that? How did I get that? See, that's what happens when they force it out of you. Gaku. Gak. Ki. Ki. I. I. Sensei. Sensei. I go to work by bike.、Um, uh, kaisa. Maybe you'd say, Chitensha、uh, de Kaisa e ikimas. There you go. 転車自転車で,で会社,会社に行きます。But I think you can also say A, like H E, へ。先生、学生、学期、学数。The only problem with the time practice is I can't, I can't look up whether another potential was correct or would have worked. Okay, that's the same sentence. 再来週来週からピアノをピアノを教えます。水がたくさんあります。水がたくさんあります。自転車で会社に行きます。自転車で会社へ行きます。会社に行きます。See, I think it would work. で会社に行きます。弟がたくさんいます。弟がたくさん。Uh, I have a lot of younger br- bros. Damn it! <laughs> oh, I was so close. I almost wrote it. All right, we did pretty good. We got 18 right. We almost got it. Or did we get it? We might have gotten it. We were at the last one. I don't know if we got it or not, but whatever we did, we did okay. We did okay. <laughs> Man, that's, it's really、uh, like, it, it builds your blood pressure, you know? It's very、uh, high pressure. Uh, let's get some hype for that one. Thank you, Decap, for the hearts. Oh, g p r o is saying A as a drawing. That's true. Yeah, so it wouldn't necessarily, like, you, you'd be able to use context clues to be like,、oh, okay, they're not saying A, I guess. But the problem is that I don't know the words, like, as well. g p r o j getting that voice of Nick hype. Thank you, g p r o j Let's get some voice of Nick hype in there as well. All right, let's do one more time practice and then we'll meet, meet our、uh, thing. So, again,、uh, we, our requirement for, like, Uh, daily goal is what they call insane,、uh, which is like the highest thing. I don't know how to, how to look at it, but、uh, yeah, whatever it is. Anyway, our,、uh, our goal requirement is the one that's like the highest amount of, <laughs> amount of XP. So we're trying to go for 50 XP per day. Start time practice. Here we go. Ready? Send some hearts. This is it. it. Gak. Gak. Uh, Ega. It would be. Wait, Ego. Okay. <laughs> See,、e-ma. I gotta actually read. My. Gak. Gak. E. E. Yeah. 
前日本語日本語,日本語学生学生英語英語英語 No, let's go. Su. See, I'm not, I'm like not paying attention. Sensei. Don't do well under Sensei. pressure. Gak. Gak. Go. Go. A. The UK is Igirisu. Mae. Mae. Gakse. Gakse. Nani. Nani. Gak. Gak. Namae. Namae. Student is a、uh, Gakse. 中国。中。Uh, 国。イギリス人です。イギリス人です。I'm English。イギリスです。Mr. Tanaka is Japanese。田中さんは日本人です。田中さんは日本人です。です中,国です中国。中国。Uh, China。中国。中国。学生。学生。イギリス出身です。I'm from England. イギリス出身です。田中さんは日本人です。田中さんは日本人です。Mr. Tanaka is Japanese. There we go. Got him. That one was good. That one was pretty good. We actually got to our goal as well. See, that one was a little bit easier though. They were giving us some, some、uh, softballs on that one. Do you guys know you're rushing to calm down and think? <laughs> Thank you for the support. And we got it, ladies and gents. Let's get some hype. That is day 77 in a row of Duolingo、uh, usage or you know, Duolingo goals being met and also Duolingo streams. Good stuff. g d p r o j e c t saying, Have you ever played Phoenix Wright? I played a little bit of it. I would like to get those remasters that they have because that looks really fun. Uh, I think it has all、um, the first three games in it. So, yeah, I'm definitely excited to play those.、Um, guys, that's going to do it for the Japanese stream. Thank you, everybody, for joining the show. Thank you for the challenges.、Uh, good to see you, GG Proj. Good to see you, Decaf. Good to see you,、uh, Milky V3, if you're hanging out. And, guys, let's raid at the end of this one. Now, we are going to find a channel to raid. I'm gonna post that raid message in there. Meatball Marauders are here to party. And if you copy that down, it'll actually show up as the coloration of your username. So we like to try and make a big uninterrupted column of raid messages coming into that chat. Or even if you get interrupted in the column, just posting a bunch of those things、uh, in there so that、uh, it makes a nice, beautiful bunch of、uh, raid messages. So copy that down, paste it into this chat so that we can、uh, get a little sneak preview of what it's gonna look like. And then, of course, get ready to paste it into the raided channel. Thank you, everybody, for joining the show. You can find these Japanese streams every day. We've been doing it for the last 76 days in a row without fail, so that's pretty good.、Um, and let's check our ranking real quick now that they have this on Duolingo so that we can see where we stand. Our standings as of now on the,、uh, on the Bronze League leaderboards were number 13, because I didn't notice that this wasn't daily. I, this might be weekly. So、um, you have to get a certain amount of, of XP, and it looks like we、uh, are in the top 20. Without specifically going for it.、Um, but yeah, top 20 will advance, so we'll see. This person has a lot. It looks like they're trying to get into the you know, league or whatever. They're like trying to do the competitive circuit. But we're still doing okay. Now, guys, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story focused games on here. But this one is not a story focused game, it is actually a fourth daily stream that we've been doing for the last. 76 days in a row,、uh, in addition to our three video game live streams every day, where I brush up on my Japanese through Duolingo, and it's our story as we learn Japanese together. Thank you everybody for joining the show. Now,、uh, if you want to see which games are being played on here, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going right now, including many Japanese language games. So there's a lot of、uh, opportunity for you know, recognizing words, and I always try to, you know, Recognize certain phrases and stuff in Japanese so we can continue our learning together through those Japanese games. And if you want to see more, if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button on the way out. You can see a follower goal of eight. We're currently at five, so we're getting there, guys. We are almost at that follower goal. We'll be doing a voice of Nick voice to celebrate once we get there. The 22nd entry in the Twitch playbook is out right now. It is called Don't Be Afraid to Be Yourself on Stream. That one just dropped, so give it a look, guys. It is brand new, hot off the presses. 
And if you don't know the Twitch Playbook, it's a free online resource I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. It is a podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, uh, so it's very bite-sized. And it's been coming out for the last 22 weeks in a row without fail, so it is very consistent as well. If you want to find it for yourself, you can type exclamation mark playbook in the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Or you can just search the Twitch Playbook on whichever podcast platform you like to listen on. Now, uh, if you like the channel, you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emote, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad-free streams. Another great way to support the channel is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. Donation leaderboards this week are completely blank, but cheer leaderboards are not. We have in third place Azur Tundra with 500 cheer. This is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Azur Tundra. Second place is Decap Bossman with 840 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Decap. First place is Frost Fairy with 1050 cheer. That is a teal level cheer. Thank you to Frost Fairy. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is so highly appreciated. You're directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is the Twitch streams you see in front of you and all the things behind the scenes that make them tick, changing those around, making sure that they're as good as they can be, whether it is creating and posting content that goes on the social channels like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, whether it's improving things on the Discord or updating the wiki, whether it is writing, recording, posting the Twitch playbook all around the internet, uh, the podcast for all you guys, all that stuff is in large part in thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is so highly appreciated. Uh, now let's see if we can find a channel to raid. The way we do raids on this channel, we always raid someone who's playing a previous game in our playthrough series. So as not to see any information about games that we are currently playing or games that we're planning on playing in the future. Now you may notice, or you, you, did, you wouldn't be able to notice, but I just typed in Duolingo to see if there's anyone else playing, playing Duolingo. And uh, it is only us, unfortunately. But I look good on that profile picture. <laughs> no, uh, one of these days we'll raid someone else who's playing Duolingo. We'd probably try to raid someone who's playing Japanese Duolingo, but it depends on who will be doing that. So let's say hi to um, a person who speaks Japanese. How about that? Dizzy Dizzy Dino, who, um, if you haven't followed Dizzy's channel, by the way, and you are a person who's interested in Japanese language stuff, Dizzy does a really fascinating uh, concept on stream where uh, Dizzy speaks uh, fluent Japanese and maybe lives in Japan or has like a at least a Japanese PS4 and uh, sometimes will play games that are hot off the presses from Japan like Judge Eyes, which is I believe not out in America yet, and will live translate the game. Uh, Dizzy most recently has been playing Yakuza 3 Remake, which is also not out in America yet, and live translating it on stream from Japanese. So that's a lot of fun. You could probably learn a lot of stuff from there as well. So make sure you guys post, or rather copy down, that raid emote uh, message set. You can see it says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. It's a little bit higher up in the chat. Thank you, Decap, for pasting that one on into the chat as well. Uh, make sure you copy that down and then paste it into Dizzy's stream. We're all going to go into there and have some fun. Dizzy's currently playing some puzzles and dragons. Let's have a good time in there, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.